All right, here we've got a customer who sent in a set of Porsche Macan headlights. Now what happens is just like any other lens, it starts breaking down on top. So most of the wear is on top simply due to the fact that it's a very flat assembly and it faces the sky. So you have a lot of UV uh, damage and UV you know, impact. So you can see it's actually very coarse. You can feel it. And not only does this age of the car, it doesn't look great, but it also detracts and negatively affects the performance of the lighting system. So we're going to swap on brand new aftermarket lens assemblies. It's a very careful procedure that will be removing the lens, scraping out all the original perma seal, and installing a brand new aftermarket lens. And this will make the lights look brand new again. So you don't have to dish out serious money for brand new assemblies from Porsche. In this case, we can just change out the lenses and get you back on the road pretty quickly. So stay tuned, check out the final result in just a little bit. And if you're interested in the service, just contact us directly, or you can click the link on the comments uh, directly to the product listing, and it'll give you a little bit more information on what we need from you. All right, I'm working single-handedly this morning, so I can't show you how this is done. However, you can watch some of our other videos and see how we cut open the light with an ultrasonic cutter. Now the ultrasonic can be used for a variety of things, but it is a very precise cutting tool. And it will allow me to remove this lens cleanly and safely without prying the channel and then extract all the pieces out of the back housing, out of that cold glue, because this, this type of sealant is a one-time use sealant. You can't just reheat it and it becomes soft and pliable again. So. Um, you can see this light is made by ZKW and it's got this kind of perma seal we call, and you can see it doesn't really budge. It's just a one-time use. This lens will come off. I'll show you how it all looks in a second, but this way we don't stress the housing and we keep all the edges looking really neat. And this will ensure the best type of seal for longevity and you not having any issues. All right, so I've got the lens off. Again, it was cut off. And then all I'm doing is taking off the remaining pieces that are in the channel. We'll clean this out with some special cold glue tools, get the rest of that sealant out, fill it up with butyl, and get the new lenses ready to be reinstalled. I was taking a look at these lenses and I can see why these are definitely one of the more expensive lenses. They're a lot more intricate and the aftermarket lenses are exactly the same. They have a lot of tabs around they have a pretty intricate design with the way that everything is seated. And that's why this service does cost a little bit more than the 981 and the 991. The newer models like the 718 Cayman and looks like some of the Macan and Cayenne lights are a little bit more intricate, thus requiring a little bit more cost for the actual replacement lenses, but it is all built into the service that is provided on the website. So keep you posted. All right, the sealant has been fully removed. Now this is a tedious process. And the reason why I'm showing you is because I don't know what other service providers are doing. They could be taking shortcuts. Pricing could be different. The methods could be different, but the number one Thing that you need to make sure not to have condensation is a proper seal. In order to have a proper seal on a perma sealed headlight would be to ensure that the channels are fully clean prior to adding in your butyl. So you can see this channel is fully empty. And now this is a tedious process because it's a very narrow channel and you're scraping with special cold glue tools if you have them. If not, you're scraping with a flathead. So this is a few hours of back and forth in the oven, getting the glue softened up a little bit. So you could basically scrape it out. Okay, it takes a lot of work and we don't take any shortcuts and that's exactly what we want to show you that essentially this process is being done properly to ensure you don't have any problems with water entry inside the assembly. Once water enters this assembly, the electronics are going to be compromised the electronics sit at the bottom of the assembly. So naturally the water will pull in and you'll have an issue. And, you know, ultimately you'll have a lot of other issues 
uh, besides just replacing some modules, it'll come at a high cost. You'll have to have them reprogrammed. It's not something where we want to be essentially. So this is, needs to be done properly if you're doing this yourself. If not, you can reach out to us, obviously. We are going to do it properly. And I will show you how things come together once we add the sealant and install the housings into the lens. All right, we've got the Diodynamics Butyl Rubber sealant installed now. This is a tough one because some parts of the channel are deeper than others. This is the actual depth of the channel. And the goal is not to get it to the tippy top, but just a little bit underneath. That way you don't have sealant oozing out. Basically maybe two thirds full or three quarters full. You know, we do this by hand, so it's very difficult to get everything fully, you know, consistent, but we aim for consistency because that'll give us the best seal. So you can see parts of it, but the sealant is not right to the edge, it's back here. So do a few rounds in the oven and make sure that the sealant is all the way pushed back and you have a nice level sealing surface and we will get ready to install the lenses now. All right, so I've got my lens seated inside the back channel and this inner housing that's black and chrome, that is inserted into the lens. And what we do is we make special notice of how the lens is sitting. So you can see that clear guide. Let me get my flashlight better. We want that fully seated in the back housing and that will line up with the tab. You wanna go around and make sure all the tabs are lined up properly and the lens is fully seated in the channel, not only will that ensure you have a proper seal, but it'll also make sure that when you mount these on the vehicle, everything's going to line up. So I just cleaned off the lens with some Goo Gone, and I'll put this gasket back on. I'll show you how all this looks, but just want to show you how everything kind of is seated. And most importantly, one of the most important tabs is the lower one. Make sure that's fully inserted into the channel and that way we have a nice deep seat proper seat and that will make sure everything is flush and sealed once it's back on the vehicle all right the gaskets are back on this little bracket that sits underneath is back on these lenses are i'm really satisfied with these lenses overall the fit and finish and construction is top tier they have a lot of weight to them just like the original ones so the thickness probably matches perfectly the fit and finish. I mean, they slid right into the back housing, as you guys saw uh, just in the previous clip. Overall, very satisfied. There's no visible distortion. And I mean, take a look at that. The front end of this Macan will look brand new again. And we blow out uh, the internals, make sure there's no visible dust or any debris. And these are ready to be reinstalled. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below, reach out to us directly. There will be a product description link in the, uh, a product link in the, in the description. So, uh, but feel free to reach out to one of us. We're happy to talk to you about this and go over general information.